Okay, so once you've made your beautiful report, you probably want to share it with uh, other people. That's usually the whole point of using Data Studio to have great reports that you can share. So uh, before we get to the actual sharing part, let's talk about a couple of design things you may want to uh, know about. So one thing we already did talk about is this text. So everywhere you need a label or you need some text added, just click on this, click wherever you like, add some text, right? Uh, it's very easy to use. Now, if you have some company logos, etc., you can also add some images, click on this image, highlight wherever you want that logo to be and upload the file from your computer, right? And put the image right there, wherever that needs to be. Now keep in mind that if you're uploading images, uh, you want to make sure that either the image or the logo, whatever you're uploading, doesn't have a background. So it kind of blends with this background or it's the same background color as you're using for this entire project. So that's that. So a lot of times I use this rectangle. When you have some things that you want kind of like separated from the rest to show like this is the section of some sort, you can just draw a rectangle around it to separate it. Something like this. So and what you can do, you can either keep the background. So usually you want to make sure you send this back so it doesn't get on top of the actual metrics first of all and the second thing if you don't really care about this background you just want a line you can just make the background transparent and then just use some sort of border so if I do like one pixel border and a solid border I can use a border here so I'm gonna go kind of like dark gray but not as dark that he cannot see so at this point we should have that line across it so if it's too bright we can still make it a little more darker so it blends in a little more and so on so that's that's another great feature that can be used similar there's the circle so if you wanted to have a circle here drawn instead of this so again usually you you'll use these features to make sure there are like separate areas instead of everything being right now i made this report and it's kind of all in one place there's no clear cut separation of what's here and what's there you may want to have some additional labels some company logo and all this stuff but since I'm not concentrating on design obviously in this particular tutorial uh, you know I just want to talk about functionality so once we have all of that set we want to share our report so if we like our report we want to share it so at this point we're gonna go and click on the share the report and we have a few options here for sharing. We can just share it with certain people. So anyone with a link can view. I don't want that option. I'm going to turn that off. And here I can just type emails or if the people are on my contact list, I can just type their names. But otherwise, I'm going to use email addresses of everybody who should be able to access this report. Now you can give two different permissions view permission or you can also give them rights to edit so if you just want them to view your report you want to make sure you change this to can view and type email addresses of people you want to share it and click done and basically you're sharing the report now another uh, option here is to just get a shareable link now what that's going to do it's going to create a link but you want to think about this as this is a publicly viewable report if you what you're trying to create is a publicly viewable report you can do this and any person that has this link should be able to just go and see the results and see this report and see our totals right so that's a couple of things we want to uh, be aware of it's really that easy so you can also give them permission to edit the report in addition to just view the report so I'm gonna turn it off in this particular case I'm not really sharing this report hit done and the cool thing about this is that we'll be able to add more data if we wanted to to this particular tab in Google Sheets and then in our report that we made we can always go ahead and refresh our data so wherever that refresh option is so let's see view there it is refresh data currently there is a shortcut control shift e2 it's just going to dynamically bring the new data update and we're good to go 
and that's it for this video.